Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So what I have for you guys today is another video of, ooh, ooh, about a new gecko I bought. And today we are gonna be looking at this cute little baby gargoyle gecko that I bought recently. I got him a couple days ago and I wanted to make a video on him. Now I got a super good deal on him and that's why I actually bought him because I've wanted a gargoyle gecko for the longest time. Uh, you know, I think they're amazing, like some of the nice really red stripes, but I'm not going to be breeding them yet. Uh, at least I don't have any plans to in the next year or more. So I just wanted one as a pet. And, you know, I got such a good deal. I had to go ahead and get this little guy. Uh, I actually got him from Petco, which is not something I'd recommend. But, you know, I hadn't seen any gargoyles for sale before in my area. And I didn't feel like spending $200 on one, uh, you know, just like a normal brown one. So I decided that I would just do this. Uh, I'm not I, he looks healthy to me. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is just how small he is He's probably only a gram or two uh, And you know, that's a little bit scary when you're trying to take care of such little geckos, you know I'm sure I'll have no problem though. I've raised lots of little baby crested geckos So I don't think it'll be a problem, but this guy is just the cutest little gecko you've ever seen You know, I just love that little face that little crocodile snout, you know, I think that's so cool uh, And you know the little eyes and everything this one actually might develop some nice color she has, he or she has some nice red and orange on them already as such a little baby. I know the gargoyles don't develop as much as the crusty geckos can, but, you know, I still think that this one might develop a little bit more. Uh, and she's also got a little wrinkle there. I'm not sure what that's from, but she was like that when I bought her. But she has some nice red and orange, so I'm hoping that develops more as she gets bigger. Uh, you know, because that'd be very cool to have a nice red and orange striped gargoyle gecko. But... You know, I'm hoping that I can make some more videos on the future. I'm waiting for her to get a little bit bigger, you know, a couple months down the line when she's maybe like 10 grams. I'll start to do some videos with her or he, but, you know, when they're this small like this, they're so delicate. You know, I feel like I could just crush her with one little thumb punch. So, you know, I'm trying to be really careful here, but, you know, I'm just so excited. I'm so happy I found one for my birthday, especially since I didn't have to pay $200 for it or like $175. So, you know, that's great. Uh, you know, and this is something that I was really looking forward to getting eventually. Now, after I raise this girl up or guy up, the next thing I want to try is either a Chihua or a lychee. I prefer a lychee, but I'll do either. But, you know, those are a little bit, obviously, more expensive than $200. So that might be something for the future future. But, you know, these are just so cool. I love the way they look. Uh, you know, I love the way crested geckos look too. But gargoyles, since they don't have any spikes, I just like the smooth geckos. Ooh, almost fell right there. You know, I'm not sure why I like the smooth ones, but I do. And, you know, I think that this is going to be a great little pet here. Uh, and maybe one day down the line, a future breeder of some kind. But, you know, I'm just so happy I finally found a good deal on a gargoyle gecko. I've wanted one for probably at least a year now. Basically, since I got my first crested gecko, I've wanted a gargoyle gecko. But, you know, I just thought I would share this cute little guy with you. If you guys have any good name suggestions, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Uh, so, you know, any name is fine for now. I may change it down the line, though. Don't jump on the camera, little guy. But I may, I may change it in the future, just so you know. But if you guys have any good names, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, like I said, I did get this guy from Petco. So, you know, no breeder unboxing there. But it was a good deal. Uh, there, I think they were $60. So... Uh, you know, if you're looking for a gargoyle gecko and you don't feel like spending 200 bucks, maybe Petco is the place to look. But, you know, that's really up to you. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick little video on a Friday here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.